Hey, welcome back to Plastic Madness. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another figure from the from Aspida. Uh, again, this one by um, made by uh, Sentinel. This is the VR 52 t This is the one uh, for Ray. Um, one thing I didn't I didn't realize when I got the box, and it's just I'm just looking at this now. Uh, I had this figure I don't know for like what, uh, like over three years probably uh, and I just realized that it has the um, uh, the bike for the for um, for yellow it's is there just interesting never never pay attention to that um, this is another one one to a scale um, this is the back get some posing um, and uh, and that's it pretty much um i don't have instructions i don't know where they are but they're somewhere so here we have ray here we have the bike the hands the head without the helmet and i need to turn this down a little bit so there we go that's better um the stand and that's pretty much what you get uh, inside the box. Um, so, like other figures, uh, its articulation is good. Um, but I was mentioned, I was talking to somebody the other day about these figures, and at, at least the first two, uh, Ray and Stick, um, they're not holding. Uh, very well there i feel like there some of these some of these figures are like asian like milk right now um yeah uh at least that's how i feel um uh, i have an issues with with stick that i want to make the video i'll show you what, what i'm talking what i'm talking about uh this one the foot the bottom foot the um, where is it the right foot is kind of like loose uh i mean still still hold the pose and whatnot but um not very like i don't know don't feel too too confident that the figure is gonna uh last too too long uh also i noticed that um this happened this happened right away um i got stress marks on the brakes and the clutch uh, right when i when the first time I, I, I put him holding the the handlebars so that was kind of like disappointing <laughs> uh, but yeah um, so far I mean this is not different than the other ones that we review too, too different as a uh, other thing has the, the uh, gun incorporated on the bottom uh, like next to the wheel and then next to the front wheel um, so yeah and let's see we got gray without the helmet that you just have to make sure you hold the neck bottom of the neck and pop the helmet and then you can put the new head the, the helmetless head and there you go I don't know why we, why he will be shooting this way, but yeah. Um, articulation is uh, the same as the other figures. I'm having issues with gray at the upper torso. That's one of the things that I mentioned. Uh, we raise that the upper torso, and I believe with stick is at the waist. But yeah, I'm getting this that part that is not supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be extending. Um, but yeah, if it is, I may have missed that in the instructions since I don't have them. But um, and so yeah, if it, if it extends, it's if it's supposed to extend. I don't think it looks that good because when you extend it. Uh, I mean, 
it gets very wobbly and you can see the inside of the figure so yeah I don't think it's supposed to happen so uh, <clears throat> um, I've been thinking to get like um, some uh, 1 and 12 figures um, 1 and 12 scale figures uh, like figmas and see if I can add the the helmet uh, the head of the helmet to those uh, and have them which is like the the regular the plain clothes uh, so that would be kind of like interesting to see um, so yeah all right uh, what else we have okay we have the helmet let's put the helmet back because that's the one that gives you the more um, possibility um, when you put him on the bike because uh, since these figures don't have uh, articulated uh, hair at the back um, you cannot make them look up so uh, the um, range of movement for the neck is very limited so yeah okay so All right. Well, let's start with the with the right armor. Um, pretty much the same as the other ones, um, except you know it has um, and it's green and it's the back the back seat the part of the seat is slightly longer um, than the other the, the two newer ones. Um, yeah, not much. Uh, all green. Uh, again, uh, disappointed that they don't have they don't have a, a sticker for the uh, for the little dashboard. That would be nice if they added that, considering how much it is, how much they cost this. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, let's let's put this together. Oh, um, by the way, I'm he's holding the gun uh, from one of the guns that came with. Uh, uh, with uh, with yellow, since that's it. I guess that's the reason they they give you all the extra guns so that everyone can ha can hold again. Um, but I'm not gonna keep this here. I'm going to add probably a, the fist on this one, and and this is another thing like the ball joints. Pegs, they keep on at least in this figure, they keep popping off. There you go. Okay, all right, so, um, he's gonna have that hand. Um, I believe he needs the uh trigger hand, but we'll see if I can keep it with this one. I don't want to keep wasting too much time with uh, with this review since it's. Our old figure. All right, so transform to put the uh, transform to put the uh, right armor into um, uh, into armor. You gotta disconnect uh, the shocks from the front wheel uh, and turn this one forward. Once you get the wheels pushed back. Um, yeah, some things like the ball joints are like fairly loose on this uh, on this figure. So okay, that was up. This one goes this way. There you go. And then you can do some kind of like hover vehicle. I seen somebody. Like some artwork of, of the uh, of the bike look that looks like this somewhere out there. All right, disconnect the gas tank. Um, all right, you can push the windshield back, disconnect the front, and then you turn the lights. Uh, turn the lights. 
back so you get the sensors out there we go and you open this over here you want to bring this this way this is the part that scares me it still scares me a little bit there's a clip in there that's stupid tight so if it doesn't hurt you there we go you gotta be careful with it and this I'm talking about this and that that connects in there all right so you put this here you pop the little pin in there from there feels like stuck there you go. All right. and then you bring the seat forward there collab it compresses to that uh, you open these two panels Bring the wheels up. That's gonna be for later. Now there, down and up. And this one is the same there. And this one's the goal to be. You put them in the back so it's easy to move these things around. Um, okay. Then you connect with that pin connects in the back. And then you bring this forward. There. And it's going to pretty much wraps around him. And um, And yes, <laughs> there we go. Bring this over the head. Hold on one second, something fell. <laughs> something fell off. Yeah, you gotta move the tank around so it goes over the head without removing the helmet. Yes, that's what you wanna try to do. Doing all this without removing the helmet. So yes, good luck. Right, let's just put the head forward, and then you just push the tank to the back, and the tank has to fit. Uh, there you go. Yeah, don't, you gotta use the little. Uh, yeah, okay, you gotta use these little joints on the back over here, the, in the front of the tank. And then just wiggle the way up all the way until it compress and it follows the sh once it follows the follows the shape of this piece over here. Once you get it there, then you just bring this one forward and clip it. And that should keep it in place. It should, right? Alright, so um now you want to close these two uh side skirts over here uh, then you want to yeah bring the wheels back right yeah yeah the wheels they, they stay in place so you don't have to worry about it too much too much um, All right, so now you bring the, to the front the uh, the pieces that will connect to the to the knee, and we gotta wiggle them. We gotta turn over here, and then you gotta turn that over there. So it allows you for some movement in there, so they stay. Oh, sorry, you gotta. It's like a little pin in there that has to come out. 
right? Yeah, there you go. There we go. All right, let me bring this back over here. And that should connect to this pin over here. There we go. All right, so that's one side. Uh, the other one fell off, but we're gonna put it back. So to face this way, and this one has to face the front there. And then you gotta turn this one a little bit. Of course, bring the little pin out. All right. Yes, I don't have my my helper here today, so I don't know where that that tool that I use. Something just flew away. Oh, nice! Something just actually broke. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, so this is pretty much dry plastic. Uh, the little ball joint there broke. No ball joint. The uh, the little spot where the ball joint go, uh, connects snapped. I think stills. Maybe. Uh, like I said, this thing is aging like like milk. All right. All right. So let me put it first. Connector to the knee. Yep. All right. And then this one. Maybe not. That keeps popping off from that, so that's... Oh wow, that's just bad. I'm gonna have to see if I can find some kind of adapter for that. Because gluing it's not gonna do it, so... Well, so this is sad that this figure is just and it like this broken uh, oh well Just let me put this out of the way um, yeah what's now Okay, this one has to turn turn out. Yep, and then this is supposed to connect there. Oh. I'm gonna have to check uh, the other figures before I do anything. <laughs> um, stick figure. Sorry, uh, the bike, the armor for stick. Okay, that one goes in there and it doesn't clip in it. Yeah, it's definitely not clipping in place. All right. All right, let's put this over there. And let's bring the this to the front. Also, I was just <laughs> reviewing the what I recorded, and I didn't notice that there was it was already a crack uh, over here. So yeah, this was like being. I mean, like I guess it, it, it plastic plastic dried out and and it snapped. <clears throat> okay, well. 
Um, let's keep going with this. Hopefully I can find a, a replacement for that, that little piece in there. Hopefully. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's just move the, this out of the way. Okay. All right, let's connect this there. See how it's there. Yeah. If this this first two releases are, are the worst ones, definitely, definitely the worst ones. Um, they got be they got better, but not by much. But uh, yeah, the shocks. They get stuck and it's like they don't want to follow the movement of the arms so they get disconnected like super easily um, this one on stay tab uh, let me see if I can use the trigger again the trigger hand sorry So if we can put this in here, I mean, they're supposed to be flexible enough that, it, yeah, there you go. Okay, all right, finally got it in there. So now we gotta, we gotta do this. <clears throat> So it fits the spot there. <laughs> Which I don't think is worth it. But just trying to there you go. But this thing keeps popping out of there, so <clears throat> back over here it's like everything get, gets like in in the way of everything in here so all right 
and last, okay, let's extend the legs. That's one, that's the other one. Okay. That one and this one. I uh, should be able to clip it in there. There you go. And then it should stay like it should rest in there like like that um, okay so yeah there it goes and you can open the visor and you see his face oh, let's do the trust trusters okay There you go. Okay. And there. Or you can put it this way and down, which I think that's the way that it shows in the instruction. Yeah, okay, there. There. Okay, and yeah, we put the, the kickstand out of the way. Uh, that part moves ish a little bit yeah that's the thing that i have this issue with like all the other figures this little piece here is not either doesn't have enough glue or or what but it's super loose so yeah yep exactly like what i said in the beginning this figure is asian like milk <laughs> all right so let's let's finish this review Okay. Okay, he can, he can stand that way. There you go. Or you can just. And let me put this back in there. There we go. And there you have Gray. Okay, and here we have him on the 360 view. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a uh, it's an expensive it's, it's an expensive figure. Uh, it has at least the first the first two figures they release they kind of suck um, they have issues everywhere um, and the plastic is starting to show its age um, yeah I, I'm quite sure that about this back in uh, like I mean at least four years ago um, and it's definitely like starting to show um, I like the figures. I mean, the sculpt is really great. Like the details, everything looks like it's really good. I mean, like you get rubber tires, you get a um, bunch of different hands that, uh, and again, they're like super, like super hard to like put in the ball bags um, for the wrist. Um, but things are starting to get loose. The plastic started some of the plastic pieces trying to get dried out and um yeah this this is definitely not a recommend i mean like you want a figure like like this uh for your collection yeah i mean like it's it's your money especially now that it's crazy expensive um 
I think that is a new one coming out soon. Uh, I think it's from, yeah, it's Mosho, I think it's called the brand. Um, they're releasing, of course, like every, every company that they make these figures, they start with stick. So that's the first one they're going to be releasing. Um, I don't know exactly when it's coming out, uh, but I saw just one or two uh, renderings and it's supposed to be bigger than this one. It's like uh, about like maybe like two inches taller than this, um, than these figures. Um, again, uh, if you're looking for these figures, I don't know where you can find it. They're like crazy expensive. Uh, and my, my suggestion is like, don't buy them. <laughs> um, but if you really want to, then like, I mean, you want to really have them, then yes, then it's your money. Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, but yes, um, I feel like this, this was like, um, uh, definitely, uh, not a good, uh, for what they, they, for what the money they were asking or, or when they come, they came out like at 200 bucks. Um, there's a, there's a lot of engineering in this. Don't get me wrong. Yes, there's a lot of engineering. There's a lot of stuff like really well done. It's just that there's a lot of stuff that is not well done. So, um, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I know I, I, I know I didn't. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, well, if you like the review, give it a like. Um, if you like, give, if you don't like, you give it a dislike. Um, subscribe if you want. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing a stick also. Um, I'm kind of like scared to do that, but I want to just get that that video out at some point. Um, and well, I if anything, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, again, give it a like, give it a dislike, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, and uh, I think there's a bell, click on the bell, do that too. All right, thank you for watching and uh, until the next video, take care, bye.